All right, get this plane checked down. We're heading back home here in just a moment. Has been a great time in Brooksville. Last night was a ball doing the, uh, the tubing and the ice skating, but now it's time to head back. Ground Aztec 2441 Mike sitting at uh, American with the weather looking for a VFR departure to the east. Aztec 2441 Mike, Brooksville Ground, the wind estimated 100 at 7, altimeter is 3008, runway 3, taxi via Bravo 1, then Bravo. Runway 3, taxi via Bravo 1, and Bravo 41 Mike. Goodbye, other Aztec. <laughs> that one looks like it lives here, like local. I do you guys see the other Aztec right there? That's Leroy's cousin. Uh, it is. <sighs> what would Leroy's cousin's name be? Jenkins. Jenkins. <laughs> nice. That's one of the YouTube videos that will always live in my head and laugh at every single time. Leroy Jenkins. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Oh my god, he just ran in. Look at that nice Apache over there. Blue and white one. Oh, that makes it nice. Oh, they're rare. I like their little noses. Their cute little stub nose. Why it makes them rare? Well, it's uh, it's like the older brother of the Aztec. The Apache was first. I like planes that have faces on the front. Yeah. Like a Super Cub? Well, yeah. Like, that has the little two holes and then like yeah. a one underneath. Like a little snail. Ours has a face. It's got two big old giant eyeballs off to the side it's and, like then, a crab. and then a Pinocchio nose. It it's like a crab. large front. <laughs> <laughs> when we take a trip, the front of this plane gets there about three minutes before we do. <laughs> I like our plane. <laughs> Brickville Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, holding short runway three, ready for departure. Aztec 2441 Mike, Brooksville Tower, runway three, clear for takeoff. Runway three, cleared for takeoff, fallen Mike. All right, here we go again. I love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Much bigger runway than yesterday. All right, there's 40. There's speed the line times three. All oh, everything's in the green. There's 65. Rotate. Positive brake. Tap brakes and gear coming up. Brickville Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike. Uh, we're going to be wanting to pick up flight following. Can you give me the frequency that we'll switch to? Uh, what's your direction of flight? East, southeast. Stage try Tampa approach on 119 or point niner. Thank you very much. Forward Mike. Tampa approach, Aztec 2441 Mike. We're five miles to the east of Brooksville, 2500, climbing 5500, looking to pick up flight following. Where were you going to go to, uh, 2441 Mike? Uh, we're going to Stewart, which is Sierra Uniform Alpha. Type is a PA-27 Aztec, four souls on board. All right, 2441 Mike, clock 6616. Clock 6616, full and mic. That was awfully close. <laughs> yeah, we asked for a switch. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Give me another number. <laughs> Look how cool the cloud looks to our left. That perfect little layer. So this down below is Winter Haven again. If you remember Jack Brown's seaplane Brit base. Yeah. You know, we're talking about that. We're about to go right over the top of Jack Brown's again. Right at the end of the runway, there's going to be an airport and then a little dock and there's some seaplanes by the dock. If you're looking down in the water, this might be a boat, this or maybe might a plane. be a plane. There's usually a bunch of little yellow planes down there. They do have a lot of little ponds around here, don't they? They're yeah, this is this is seaplane central right here, so good. How great would it be to live on that island? There's an island with a, looks like a giant house on it. it appears to be Lake Marion. If the island house on Lake Marion is an Airbnb, I'm going there. <laughs> you would have to take a boat. Fine, that sounds like an awesome weekend. Just better, just get better. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Would you go if that's an Airbnb? Yeah. Are we going to go party on the island house? Yeah. And by yeah. party, I mean sit there and play cards. do lazy things that we do. <laughs> play cards. <laughs> <laughs> we are wild. Tell me. 
I know you can't talk, but can you see the island house? There's an island with a big house on it. Got Nice. I guess in case I put this in the video, Shelby can talk. It's just the headset. We're getting some interference from Shelby's headset, so we had to uh, unplug her uh, her microphone so she can't physically talk to us right now. If anybody's curious. It was really bad. It was unable to hear anything else besides that. Yeah. So we'll figure that out on the ground. Her ears are still protected, and she can hear us. Yeah. Plug yours in in the, the spot behind you. Lando, is that 9000 on the toll one departure? Are you better? Oh yeah, that's good. That's better. Welcome back to the party. Welcome back, Shelby. We love you. So, we're on our way back from Brooksville. We're uh, staying out of restricted zones along the way. There's some restricted zones right in the middle of the state. Uh, but we're about to turn right, head south. Uh, we're just south of Orlando right now, and, uh, and we're going to be back at home, it looks like, in about 30 minutes. Yesterday, we had quite the day. We did. Yeah. It was a fun-filled day. We went, like, in the ice mountain, mountain where you rode a tube down, and that slipped on ice. We went, there was, like, this big igloo full of snow and ice. One, two, zero. Giant ice ramp, and you pull up tubes. And then, when they push the button, it rolls you down. Then you just go going three, you have a nice day, five, and slide down, down, down and it's right down the ice. Yeah. And that thing we did was go into this giant igloo that had a uh, fake uh, snow in it, and we slid down the giant hill that we guys that we guys saw, and then we went ice skating. It was fine. What was your favorite party yesterday? Uh, probably ice skating. All right, so it sounds like Shelby's favorite thing was uh, was the ice skating. Uh, what they're talking about with the big uh, tubing, sledding thing is Snowcat Ridge. So Snowcat Ridge. I'm sure we'll have a few pictures in our video it's about it. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's closest to Dade City, Florida. Uh, the reviews were mixed online, but if yep. anybody's got kids, we had a ball. We so did. <laughs> we did two hours of sledding down this giant tubing, ice tubing down this ice ramp. Uh, you don't even have to drag the tube that much. You just drag it over, and it's got a an automated ramp the conveyor belt conveyor belt that drags you back to the top of the hill. There was no line uh, the whole time. They control the number of people that are allowed in, so we were able to go up, sled, have a great time the whole time. It's not busy at all, but it's also January. Yeah. I bet it was much busier in December. Yeah, I bet right before Christmas is wild, but yeah. this was good. Shelby mentioned the snow dome. It's got a uh, snowmaker inside that just constantly blows snow. We will only snow a hill in the middle. Just a moment. Maybe ten know. minutes. <laughs> I knew it was going. <laughs> Jack did it. They won't let you have snowball fights, so, you know, <laughs> What's the you point slip around for a while, you can't snow, have but. a snowball fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we stayed in there a little while. Still fun, but the, the, uh, the tubing was more fun. And then uh, once our tubing block was up, and they sell them in two-hour blocks, we went over to the uh, ice skating rink. It's not even a rink. It's like an ice skating track. Like a it's got a, a little learning spot and then it's got a, you know, like a racetrack to skate around. It was I like fun. that. Better than just circles. Yeah. And my favorite thing was the ice skating was because that uh, I didn't know how to ice skate. Then uh, my parents taught me some strategies. Then I got the hang of it. Strategies. <laughs> I started doing it. Yep. And it actually, I actually thought, I actually did, did better good. than I thought. What was your favorite part, Jack? One zero miles uh, the ice down. tube, uh, tubing, uh, tubing, uh, tubing was my favorite also. Yeah. So that's not all we did yesterday. I mean, we landed at... No, we went, the best part for me was landing at Cedar Key. Uh, Cedar Key was uh, something I've been wanting to do for years, and we finally pulled it off. I thought it was going to be much more challenging than it was, to be honest. I spent an hour preparing for that flight, going over techniques, going over landing distances, looking up all the performance characteristics of the plane, making sure we could get in and do it, and then uh, leaving a margin of safety in case I couldn't fly this plane like the test pilots could. But uh, 
quite frankly, we got it in and got it out right on the numbers. So, at least I it wasn't, if it was gusty or a little bit yeah. more windy, it would probably be harder, but it was, you did well. Yeah, yeah it was, Good job, agent. you know, I, we got in and out in about a thousand feet, uh, and that was on the money with what the performance characteristics were. I'm still very disappointed that 360 would not connect again for the landing on that one. Yeah. I'm so disappointed on that. I guess we'll just have to go again and try again. Yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> Restaurant was fantastic. I enjoyed it. We went to steamers. Steamers. And ate outside. We waited to eat outside, which was totally worth it. Yes, uh, it was. The other balcony over there beside us, a bird pooped on the umbrella. <laughs> so I would suggest that if you want to sit on the balcony, you sit on under the umbrella. So if the seagulls come by, don't get pooped on. You may not if you're involved. But otherwise, it was really pretty. Miami Center, Aztec, 2441 Mike. We're descending 5,500 to 3,500. 2441 Mike, Roger. One thing I could say, though, about Cedar Key is if you are going to land there, expect to be a show. It was lined with golf carts. People drove their cars, rode their bikes, just to watch the airplanes land. Yeah, there was so many. Okay, I didn't just mind. coming back and forth, so. So, it's a hard airport. If something goes it's wrong, it's good to have somebody well, paying attention. I guess so. <laughs> so it's going to go terrible. I would, I would be <laughs> glad to know that somebody was watching Someone's that can watching maybe it. send services if you need them. <laughs> Not to scare anyone, or but it help is a short runway, runway. and uh, it's never wrong to have a little help. Yeah. And if you don't crash, then give them a show that they enjoy. I've said it before. I'm no super pilot, and uh, I've just come to grips with the fact that if I'm putting stuff up on YouTube, uh, there's going to be critic, but uh, I'm hoping to keep everybody flying and inspire people to do this same thing and uh, try to be competent while I do it and set a good example. So Cedar Key was an excellent challenge, and uh, I think I did what I was supposed to do as I was supposed to do it, and everything worked out. Yeah. Everybody got a show. It is a pretty big plane to squeeze into Cedar Key, and so uh, I think uh, I think certainly the locals enjoyed seeing a, a light twin get into that tiny little airport. I enjoyed doing it. We'll be back. All right. So you see that cell phone tower I'm circling? Yes. Good morning, Jack. There's a green strip with a bunch of cars. Yeah, I see it. And then there's a square white building. Yeah. That square white building is a hangar. And that property sitting right there is an is a uh, airport that was for sale. Oh, still a little airstrip. So the cell phone tower, the little green strip, and all that forest property next to it. Woo! That was a bump. <laughs> that is a that's a little 76 acre ranch that was for sale. And uh, offer on it, no go so far. That might be a. Fun property to pick up if they decide they want to sell it after all. So anyway, standing offers in. We'll let you know if it works out. Oh, we got a plane right ahead of us, a thousand below. It's crossing. There's a plane right there, Jack. Paul Beach Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with Stewart in sight. 2441 Mike, Red Service Terminate, Squawk VFR, frequency change is approved. 2441 Mike, Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Appreciate your help. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, 1,500. Uh, one zero miles to the west inbound for full stop with information Bravo. Six two four four one Mike Stewart Tower report left downwind runway three zero. Report left downwind runway three zero forward Mike. He's dropping way down low. Is that thing over the ocean? Of the plane? Mike, you looks like you have traffic just south of your position, eleven hundred feet. Also eastbound. I'm not talking to him. We have traffic in sight. Uh, forward oh, Mike. But this thing right here is that in the ocean or is that the plane? The black thing. If it moves and it looks like a plane, let me know. Here's two try pop. The uh, departing float plane is going to be straight out, and you can turn right on course. Just use caution for our lovely banner toes over the uh, boat show. Yep, I've got that. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, a lot of traffic right here by the airport. Yeah, that, well, that's what I saw was the banner. I couldn't tell what it was. Do you see the banner plane? I think four mic float plane off to your left. Oh, um, yeah, it's a float plane. Northwest down. We have traffic in sight. Four one mic. Tweet. Yep. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike on left downwind, runway 30. 641 Mike, runway 30, clear to land. Runway 30, clear to land. 
Runway 30 cleared to land, forward mic. Beautiful. Beautiful out there. trips like this. Oh. We're planning well, on I do it. like them. <laughs> Bye. All right. Bye. See you next time, everybody. Hope you had fun on our trip. Bye.